Now, it may not be one of the most important Origins ever played, but to me it was one of the most memorable ones. And that was in 1987, a fourth State of Origin game played Long Beach in California. Uh, and I had the good fortune to captain the Blues on one and only occasion. And Wally Lewis, you were the opposing captain. Now, I think that it's probably um, one of the most serious games that I've ever played. And I don't get the impression that you guys <laughs> treated it the way it should have been. Well, we'd heard all about how uh, serious you New South Welshmen were in, the, in being able to claim it. We all already said that the series was over. We've won it. We've had a great time. It's <laughs> fantastic. Um, and we were heading over there. Uh, you guys, uh, the, the pretty New South Welshmen, uh, were placed up the front of the plane. Uh, admittedly, it was economy, but it was the, the nice, comfortable seats. The Queenslanders were shoveled down the back as uh, as usual and uh, um, we had decided to um, to make it an entertaining very comfortable flight on the way over there and uh, uh, we were all that concerned about uh, making sure that our body fluids were yeah, up. You were sponsored uh, by Forex at the time <laughs> I, I believe. And, uh, and looked after that uh, that sponsorship we uh, we stood up to the letter and, <laughs> and had a great job. We got over there um, and uh, Wayne Bennett uh, basically said uh, now we get serious when we train uh, we look after it, we did, <laughs> and, and we had a, a fairly comfortable approach while we were training. After that though, uh, it went back to the entertainment factor. As soon as we stepped off uh, the football field, uh, there were a number of uh, promotions that we attended that, um, uh, that we thought were quite entertaining. Well, we went to Disneyland. I thought you were one of the characters <laughs> out there. And I can only just see, because I had the blue Akubra hat on. Very, very classy. Look good too. Classy. It looked good. I think, I, I think I might have had some tight shorts on at the, at the same time. But you did. They're a nice, uh, a nice bluey, greeny pair, Stella. <laughs> and uh, they look, look uh, more like uh, beach sluggers than anything else. It, it was a fairly social kind of, of event. And we, look, we did train hard and, and we were looking to, to, to get a result out of it. But, but everything ar around it, I think the fact that we had, I think, 12,500 people out there yeah. was great and, and it was beamed back to Australia. From Veterans Stadium, Long Beach, California, the Two E's Interstate Challenge, Queensland versus New South Wales, and an historic moment for Australian Rugby League. We it wasn't won. all that easy running onto the football field in those days, though, was it? There were a, a number of things oh, which yes, were get stopping you from actually be making yeah. that dash, it, that famous dash onto the field. I had a dollar for every time I get to struggle through the banner <laughs> at the beginning of this game. I would be a multi-multi, a bit like yourself, I'd be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, what people don't understand is that I was, t I was given instructions, which I didn't listen to, that there was one little area that you could run straight mm. through because it's all held together by sticky tape. Yes, it's it like was. a spider's web. Like nobody could have got it. Arthur Beetson couldn't have got through it. And what made it even more entertaining was that still I was looking over and we were in fits, having fits of laughter, <laughs> uh, watching you attempt to uh, to get your way through it. So that sort of continued the uh, the low key effect of the State of Origin game being played in the U.S. All right, well, New South Wales won that game at the end of it. I thought you came up with a very nice gesture. You actually came as the opposing captain and raised my arm in, in triumph. The mm. more I look at it, the more it looks like you're actually trying to wretch it out of its socket. But <laughs> I didn't realise at the time. I do remember after the game, uh, we, we actually went, there was a surf contest on at Huntington Beach. There was. And there was an Australian in, in the final up against Sonny Garcia from, from Hawaii. Roy Simmons from Penrith. I don't think he'd ever had toes in sand. <laughs> so, so we coaxed him along. Now at Huntington Beach, they have a pier where the surfers actually they, they surf in surf between in, them. Yeah, yeah. At one stage, after a couple of your your product, he yelled out, get out of there, you fool, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> doing. Uh, and then wandered across the, the road to, to the bar. The sand, the surf and the sun didn't quite No, I'm sure the, the only time that Royce has ever had his, uh, had his toes in the sand, he's, uh, he's also had a bag of cement there. He's been well out <laughs> in the countryside making sure that, uh, that he's building a barbecue area with nice flat concrete to be able to enjoy it. I it was a great trip. Got, well, I've got to say, after all of those years, it's wonderful <laughs> to be able to sit here and reminisce about a game that's uh, it's not in the record books to any large degree, but there was good to be a part of. Yeah, it certainly was. It was very, uh, very entertaining. We were quite surprised, I'm sure, that 12,500 people actually yeah. made their way to the, to, uh, to the game. Uh, I still remember doing the promos, and we were talking about uh, how the, uh, the Americans couldn't believe that we were playing such a massive body contact sport. Uh, to promote rugby league in any way possible was certainly uh, our challenge, and uh, um, whilst it mightn't be the most uh, fascinating game that was ever played between the two states, it was certainly very entertaining. And the Queenslanders has got to go on to uh, to Las Vegas and be able to enjoy a, a wonderful opportunity yeah. listening to the Beach Boys, which oh. made it a, a great trip. I was there as well. So <laughs> look in the record books, 1987, uh, two all between New South Wales and Queensland <laughs> that year. <laughs>